What's up guys, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com. In the previous tutorial, we created our Ajax object, and we said that we want to configure our Ajax object to whichever browser the user is using, and then if the Ajax object is not null, meaning that we got a good Ajax object, we are going to do stuff here. And if it is null, meaning that the Ajax object was not configured because we weren't ready for that browser, then we want to tell the user that they did not have a compatible browser. So, now that we understand what we did in the the previous tutorial let's keep moving forward so now what we said is we want to do what we were going to do in uh, in this um, brace is everything that we want to do if we got a good Ajax object so in here type this code and I'll explain it in a second so just type in Ajax object dot open uh, open and then give me curly brace curly brace and just a space there and give me a semicolon at the end and then Ajax object dot send okay so what these we are going to put three parameters in this open the easiest parameter out of all of these is the last one and what you're saying is I want to use that Ajax object and I want to open a request within our server so if you want to do anything with your server you need to utilize that Ajax object and you need to open a request and in these three parameters you're going to say certain things about that request the first thing that we are going to say is the easiest one and that is just going to be true at the end of here and what this is saying is I want to open a request and I want it to be done asynchronously if we said false this would not be done asynchronously so basically by asynchronously we are saying we want to open a request and we do not want the page to load I mean, uh, yeah, we don't want the page to like reload and get that request. That's the whole point of Ajax. So this will usually always be true. So where we are opening a request with the Ajax object and we want it to be done asynchronously. The very first one of these parameters are whether you want this request to be a get request or a post request. Usually when you are going out and you are just getting data from a URL, that's going to be a GET request. But when you're using like a form and you want to send data with the request, that's a POST. So since we are just going to jump out and we are going to get the information from this lightbox.jsp, since we're just going to jump out and get that request, we are going to use a GET because we just want to go out and get information from this URL. And then the last parameter, you actually say the URL that you want to go to. So where do you actually want to jump to and get the information? So you just type in lightbox.jsp or whatever extension you have. So what we did was we created an Ajax object and assigned it to null. And then we gave our Ajax object specific parameters depending on which browser the user was using. And then if it isn't null, we want to go to lightbox.jsp. We want to get all the information from lightbox.jsp. And we want it to be done asynchronously. So we are well on our way to getting our lightbox. And now what we want to do is now that we've gone out and gotten the lightbox, we want to bring it back and show it on our screen. So that's the last thing we are going to do in this function. So after this, now we've gone out and we've made that call, that phone call to lightbox.jsp and we've said, all right, I want you to go out and get this. So now what we need to do is we need to get it back so that we can display it on the screen. So we want to take this information and we want to display it on the screen now. So I want you guys to write down what I'm typing and I'll explain it afterwards. So type down Ajax object dot on ready state change and make sure you do not have parameters after that and then do equals and let's say function and then give me parameters and then give me two curly braces and then after the last curly brace give me a semicolon now in here I want you to say if Ajax object dot ready state equals equals four and Ajax object dot and let's say status and equals equals 200 then I want you to document dot get element by ID give me curly braces and then say inner HTML make sure HTML is all capitalized and say Ajax object dot response 
text, semicolon. The last thing I want you to go do is go to your index.jsp file, take the div ID of wherever you want to put that information, and I want you to paste it in here. Save it, and we are done. Now we're using Ajax, but now I'm going to explain what the hell we just wrote. So, what this is saying is, when we make this open request, and we go to lightbox.jsp, what is going to happen to our Ajax object? It's just going to go through a couple ready state changes. It's going to go from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4. The status is going to change. Basically, all you need to know is that this Ajax object is going to change a couple times while it is making that request. And when our Ajax object is finished changing, meaning its ready state is 4 and its status is 200, that means the request was sent and everything was A-OK. -okay. That means it was 100%. So when everything is 100%, then I want you to take everything that the Ajax object got. So that would be the response text. So take everything from lightbox.jsp. So this is everything that it got. And you want to put it in this div. So you want to document.getElementById. So you want to find this div in your document. And you want to go to the inner HTML, so you want to go inside that div, and you want to put everything that is in the response text. What is the response text? Everything that's in, a in lightbox.jsp. So here, we sent out the request. We said, go to lightbox.jsp asynchronously and get everything. And then in here, we said when lightbox.jsp is 100, I mean, when the Ajax object has gotten everything that it needs to, take all of that information and put it in this div. So I hope Ajax makes sense to you guys. So that, that's exactly what we just did. So if we save this and we go to our browser, we're going to refresh this and I guarantee you it's not going to work. And it didn't work. And the reason it didn't work is because what this is doing is it is going to the response text, it is grabbing all that information, and it is putting it in the light box. But if we remember, all that information is display none. So it is actually getting that Ajax request, but we aren't seeing it because it's display none. So if we come into our CSS and take out display none here, and take out display none here, and save it, and come back into lightbox.jsp, make sure that's saved, and then we go back into our browser, refresh it, click the page, and do, 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 do. let's see, this is good, this is good, enter HTML, Ajax object response text, that's good, refresh the page, click the button, What is going on here? One second, guys. Ajax result. Uh, da, da, da. Ajax result. So I'm going to do a quick. I'm going to do a quick alert. So alert response Ajax object dot response text. And let's see what I get. So this isn't loading asynchronously. Show light box. Show light box. Hmm, I'm sorry guys. What is going on here? Lightbox.jsp. True. Oh, send. That's the problem. S-E-N-D. I said sense. So if we go back and we refresh this and we click here and now we see our light box and so now it works so sorry about that make sure you have everything spelled correctly so basically what it was doing was it was opening up that request and it was never sending the request because I said sense I'm sure somebody probably saw that a lot e faster than I did so um, I hope that you guys now understand how to make a light box and you will see when you close it it will go away and if we look in Firebug, it says that we were able to load that light box in 70 milliseconds. So if we clear this out and we click that, it says here in one millisecond we were able to load that light box. So this is how you make a light box and you can load it asynchronously so that now if we look at our page source, 
what we will see is we have Ajax result div. So I'm sorry in that last tutorial we got a little lost there for a second, but I hope this tutorial was useful and you all learned a little bit of Ajax, CSS, JavaScript. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials.